Hello, I'm crouching down next to a small pond. There are some more stickleback adventures on the way. And I've just cast, well, I can hardly call it casting out really, for the first time. And immediately there's a fish on there. It came off though. You have to make sure you don't let them swallow the hook. That's important. And that's why I've stayed with a, a size 18. Anyway, third time after two came off, I've got one here and I think I might need to show you this one in the palm of my hand because it's uh, very lively indeed. However, no, there you are. I'm off the mark. A great little fish, aren't they? I'm having no problems at all with the fish uh, feeding. So another nice day, as you can see, I've got my shorts on there, just some of my uh, knees showing there. The moment the bait hits the water, the fish are onto it already. And this is about the, the third, fourth, I think, that I've had so far. <laughs> Marvellous. I'm fishing properly as well, as you can see, albeit with a, a mini reel, a mini rod a tiny float, which my wife made specifically for the job in hand. And then the business end, a maggot on a size 18. And I was thinking originally to go with a, a smaller bait, a smaller hook, but actually this is fine because it means that the fish are less prone to swallowing the hook, which of course they would do with a, a size 20, 20 or even smaller than that and uh, a much smaller bait. So a standard maggot and a size 18, that's working really well. I'm actually still on furlough at the moment. The last time I was in work physically was the end of March. <laughs> the other one just came off there. I would have had that if I'd have been a bit quicker, but it's, it's fun fishing. Last time I was in was the end of March. So with it now being July, that's actually a considerable amount of time. Not sure when I'll uh, being next either. I'll tell you what though, I'm enjoying the furlough life very much indeed. Stacks of fishing and well I've got this one on so taken the hook but just right inside the mouth and it uh, slipped out very comfortably. Stacks of fishing and a very very nice relaxed lifestyle and of course at my age as well it's, it's very convenient you can see the spines there on top of the fish. These are three spined stickleback. There are also uh, nine spined and 15 as well in the British Isles across both fresh and salt water. The float is great because, well, you can see the fish anyway, taking the, uh, the bait like this one did just, and then the the float disappears. It's great to see whether you're fishing for, well, it reminds me of wrasse fishing on the, on the coast off the rocks where they, they take the float down, but whether you're after wrasse in the ocean, tiny sticklebacks in a pond or whether a, a more conventional approach, it's all great fun watching that float disappear. Oh, that was a very small fish and I was just showing you that compared to a maggot. Anyway, it jumped out and it's gone in the water and so now has the aforementioned maggot.